from my heart and from my hand Why don't people understand my intention? Good morning. So some of you all have gathered from the last video that I was starting to work on some of the wiring and I've spent the last few evenings taking apart the uh, main harness and rewrapping it with this uh, cloth material instead of the plastic. It's what they use on modern cars and it makes it less susceptible to temperature fluctuations so it doesn't crack or degrade over time. Um, you'll notice on this one as well that uh, this is a later SPI Mini, which means it has the blade fuse box, not the four glass ones that you see in the majority of them. And obviously this is uh, the connection for the engine harness, which we are still waiting for. I'm now starting to work on the lights. As you know, I was fitting LEDs, so we're just starting to do the cabling for this as well. And then we can actually move on to doing the dashboard. So to know a mess of cables there as well. And I'll do the same thing. I'm going to braid wrap uh, all of the cables to protect them. Um, I think it's also a, a nice finish as well. So let's crack on. By the way, the, uh, the LED lights, it's a really easy upgrade, particularly for the later minis because it just uses the standard three pin plug. And these two, if you want to use the ring indicator, they just splice in already. Uh, these are obviously TUV approved, which means it'll also go through the, the test with these on as well. So we're going to crack it on. We're done. So I just want to say a big thank you to Ben66, uh, because he actually found me the rest of the harness. Uh, for the open roof. So the roof now actually works the way it's supposed to do. So I'm a happy bunny. Thank you very much Ben. Appreciate your help. So you can see here the uh, main harness coming through the bulkhead into the dashboard. Uh, this is the tape that I was talking about, by the way. It's a cloth tape, automotive tape, that modern cars use for harnesses. So then we need to sort out this little mess here, which is obviously for the switch panel. And then we've got the ignition we need to sort out. And then also the dash dials and the speedo cable. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to wrap all of the cables in this cloth tape as well. I don't know if you can see in the far side here, that is the plug that connects the main harness to the rear harness as well. So uh, yeah, let's uh, crack on and uh, tidy this up. So hopefully you can see this. Um, I'm trying to separate these switches to make it a little easier for the switch panel. I'm purely doing it on logic because there are groups of greens and blacks, there are groups of blues and greens, groups of whites and blacks, and then a group of green here. Um, this one looks like it's had some burning issues, so I'm actually gonna replace that plug. Uh, so I need to get these feed, fed through uh, this point on the uh, the switch panel, uh, but this should wrapping should make it a bit easier to deal with them because it was just a jumbled up mess. earth is on the left on these but I'm not going to push them back into their holes until we've got the rest of the circuit in place and then I can actually test them. Uh, I've also noticed I bought the wrong switch because I bought the secondary one for the lights not for the headlights so I also need to order a new switch for that. You 
you see the brake sensor cables here that attach onto this. There's two of those, one for either side. This is for the ignition. And indicators, stokes. And these two cables are for the roof, the clip into the harness. And yeah, we are ready for the dashboard. So this car originally only had uh, one dial in the center for the clock. So we're gonna attach an accessories harness as well. It's obviously for the back of the dials, the main dashboard, and that is the uh, speedo cable. So yeah, number of cables that have not got a connection has now reduced dramatically. So we can uh, crack on with uh, finishing the installation. Okay, I just need to uh, tuck the cables underneath the dashboard now and then uh, that job is done. There is one last harness and I have to go back to the, the donor car because this is in a pretty sorry state now. But um, there is one last harness that needs to be done. And that's related to the inhibitor switch on the automatic. So I'm gonna have to go back to the donor car. Now we can see this and there is actually another harness here that I need to transfer so I need to trace that back and once that's installed we have everything done uh, still no news from the body shop on the fuel tank error so hopefully we get that resolved soon but we'll see but yeah moving along quite nicely now